I'm Adil Kumar and in this video we'll discuss the proof for derivative of cos inverse x equals to minus 1 over square root of 1 minus x square. Now let's first try to understand the cos inverse x function itself. Let us say let y equals to cos inverse x, right? Then we can write this as x is equals to cos of y, right? Now, whenever you have this inverse function, cos inverse x is referring to us as the angle in radians, right? So, cos inverse x is defined in the interval 0 to pi, correct? So, you should remember that y is in radians between 0 to pi. Now, what I can do here is, based on what we have, that is x equals to cos y, we can kind of make a triangle and uh, give it a picture. So when I say that cos y is x, it really means that the ratio of adjacent side to hypotenuse is x, right? So if this angle is y, in that case, the ratio of adjacent to hypotenuse is 1, right? I mean, is x, x over 1. That is what it is. Now, from here, you can find the dimensions of opposite side, which will be 1 square minus x square square root. So, this is 1 minus x square, correct? So, that is a triangle which will be helpful to us in understanding the derivative and this equation also. Okay, so now, we have x equals to cos y. Let's begin. So, we have already substituted cos inverse x as y, right? So we are now saying we have x equals to cos y. So if I differentiate with respect to x on both sides, differentiate with respect to x on both sides, I get 1 here and the derivative of cos y will be, let me write down first, d dx of cos y, right? So that will give us cos y derivative is minus sine y dy dx, correct? Now from here we can write what dy dx is. It is 1 over minus sine y. So we can write dy dx as equals to 1 over minus sine y. Now what is 1 over minus sine y? Well if you look into this triangle, sine y is the ratio of these two, right? So sine y is square root of 1 minus x square, correct? So from here it is clear that sine y is square root of 1 minus x square, correct? Over 1, that is what it is. So we could write this as equal to minus 1 and sine y is square root of 1 minus x square. Is that clear? So the derivative of y is this. What is y? y is cos inverse x. So I can write derivative of cos inverse x is equals to minus 1 over square root of 1 minus x square. Right? Does it make sense to you? Right? So, so you'll find that the derivative of this is always negative. Right? This will be always negative. Right? So that is how we can actually find the value or the derivative of cos inverse and that is kind of a background on the inverse function itself. I am Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.